like I have a fresh project that we are going to use. So the first thing that I'm going to do is in my Gradle, I'm going to add material design. Since bottom sheet fragment requires this material dependency library. So once that, that is done, I'm going to create a new Kotlin class, and I'm going to call it bottom fragment. So I'm going to have an empty constructor, and I'm going to extend bottom sheet dialog fragment. Then I'm going to override this one. I'm going to change the constructor here, and then override a method called on create. On create view. Then within my layout, I'm going to create the fragment layout. And I'm going to say fragment bottom sheet. Within it, I'm going to have relative layout here. It's the parent layout. Then I'm going to have edit text, which I'm going to match parent and lab content. I'm going to have text, text hint, username. I'm going to have ID, ID username. I'm going to have margin, I'm going to give it that. In. Input type, I'm going to have text. Below it, I'm going to have a button. I'm going to have 200 as the width and the content I'm going to lab content. ID, I'm going to call it button continue. And I'm going to have it below the ID username. Center of the parent that is true. Text, I'm going to give it continue. Color, I'm going to give it background. Color primary dark. The text color should be white. And then background color. Primary dark. On the top, I'm going to have text view. Lab content, lab content. The text will be user details. And I'm going to give it a top margin of 30. I'm going to give it ID, TV details. And horizontally, I'm going to send it. Size, I'm going to increase to 16. And color, I'm going to give it dark black. So the edit text should be below the text view. And this one, I'm going to give it text color that is black is 000. Back to my bottom fragment. So I'm going to have val view of the view which is in freighter dot in freight and dot layout now my layout is fragment bottom sheet then i'm going to give it view group which is my container the attach loot i'm going to have first in my return i'm going to return the view in my main activity I'm going to have a bottom sheet fragment, which is bottom fragment. And then I'm going to have bottom fragment dot show. I'm going to have support fragment manager, and I'm going to pass tag as just tag. So 
I'm going to learn it and see what we have. So let's first close this one. It was for preparation purposes. So the gradle is building up. It's now in storing. So there we are. We have our bottom sheet here. We have edit text and we have our button. And this is the main activity. So the next thing that I'm going to do within the start is to have no action bar. And then in my bottom sheet, I'm going to have bottom margin here of 30. And finally, within my main activity, the text view here, I'm going to change it to button. And the text I'm going to have add. The ID I'm going to give it button add. So when you click this button is when I'm going to open the fragment. So I'm going to have button add dot set. I'll click listener. And I'm going to start the bottom sheet. Dialogue fragment. Let's learn. So the app is launching. So when I click add, we have the bottom sheet, our fragment, and we have our button here. So the next thing I'm going to do is add listener to this button and even add a new activity. So I'm going to have new activity, empty activity, and I'm going to call it item. Within my button, I'm going to have val button continue, which is view dot button continue. I'm going to have val id username, and I'm going to have user id username dot. Sorry, it should be view dot id username. So for this button continue and username, they are in button, pin fragment, bottom sheet. It's here. We have ED username and we have button continue. Then I'm going to have my button continue dot set on click listener. The first thing I'm going to validate is whether the user has provided the details. So I'm going to have edit text dot trim dot to string is empty is not empty else if it's empty we are going to toast dot make text require context and input required i'm going to have toast dot length long dot show so if there is text I'm going to have a username which will be ed username dot text dot trim dot stream and then I'm going to start activity that is intent require context and I'm going to go to item activity class let's learn this one and finally dismiss this one okay let me pass even the data put extra data and the data is username so the gradle is building up let's wait There we are, let's try to add. And the username I'm going to have is learn. If we click continue, we have a new activity. And that activity is item activity with no data. Remember we are passing data, so I'm going to have a username to be intent.getStringExtra. 
and that is data. We are going to log this data first. And then I'm going to have to concatenate with the username. Oops. Let's try learn it again. So there we are when I click add and say learn and I click continue. Let's see the logs. There we are, we have the name as learn. So I'm going to set that name to text view. So I'm going to have here a text view. I'm going to lab content and even height, I'm going to lab content. The ID I'm going to give it is username. And the size I'm going to give it is 16. Color I'm going to give it black. And constraint I'm going to have top, top of palette. Start, start of palette. Then you have bottom, bottom of parent, and end, end of palette. So I'm going to copy this one. They have TV username dot text. It needs username. Let's learn again. Not sure what's happening at the first line, but let's try to explain it again. So if I say add, we have learn, continue, we have learn displayed. We provide a different name like uh, learn tech, continue, we have learn tech. So that's all guys, I wanted to show you how you can open a bottom sheet fragment, pass data from bottom sheet fragment to another activity. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can just comment below. If you are new, remember to subscribe for more.